Hello everyone and welcome back to Splinter Cell. This is episode 9. Last time we did the revisit to the Chinese embassy to prove that Fai Rong was a splinter group of, uh, you know, the Chinese and he was not directly involved, you know, restoring peace between US and China um, while separating him and making Nicolades go on the run. We're heading to the Presidential Palace for the next mission in the game. I'm super excited. Let's continue the story right now. Presidential Palace time. Over Russian airspace. Fisher, it's time we talked about the Ark. What is it? What Nikolads wants most in the world and what we're going to catch him by. That's all we know. We know the Ark is hidden somewhere inside the Georgian Presidential Palace, and we know Varlam Kristavi is letting him take it. Who's Kristavi? The new president of Georgia, pushed into power by our friends at the CIA. It doesn't make sense. We'll do the thinking. Your primary mission in Georgia will be Nikolads. We get him and the game's over. The good guys win. Were you talking to Lambert? Yeah. How soon before we touch down in Georgia? We don't. You'll be making a halo jump. Goody. Dad, is that you? Sarah, it's good to hear your voice. Are you coming home? The TV said you guys beat Nicolas. It's not that simple. So you're not coming home? No, honey, not yet. But soon. Cool, we actually get to see the daughter. We're doing a halo jump. Congratulations, Snake. You've done the world's first the Halo jump. Returned to a state of amicable diplomacy with China. The swift action of the CIA and Chinese intelligence revealed a splinter faction of the Chinese military covertly supporting the Georgian information crisis. Declaring he's a dead. day of mourning for those lost in the Georgian information crisis. Confirms the consummate defeat of Kambayn Nikolaz's cyber warriors. The acts of information terrorism have come to an end. And in a ceremony later today, President Bowers will be issuing an official thanks to the CIA, FBI, and U.S. Special Forces for their role in bringing an end to the crisis. Though his whereabouts are still unknown, Combain Nicolades is essentially powerless. We have torn off the scorpion's claws. We have severed his tail. And he cannot stay hidden for long. Great speech. Georgian Presidential Palace. Okay, find combined Nicolades and the Ark. He has returned to the Georgian Presidential Palace in order to retrieve a weapon known only as the Ark. The great risk involved in Nicolades' personal return suggests its enormous value. Any threat posed by Nicolades or the Ark must be dealt with. Are we gonna? Are we performing the Halo jump in a cutscene or in gameplay? Let's see. Oh, we're already on the ground. Okay, we're already on the ground. Halo jump successful. You had to be there. Look at that beautiful JPEG. Welcome back to Georgia, Fisher. Our cleanest path to the Ooh. Ark is President Kristavi's records. Details on your offset. What if Kristavi gets in my way? Don't touch him. He's copacetic with the CIA. If Kristavi dies, the mission's over. Cool. Outfit change again. I got a balaclava now. Okay. Recover the Ark interrogation file. The record of an interrogation conducted by Georgian agents representing current Georgian President Kristavi. The file details a interrogation of one of Nikolaz's high-ranking mercenaries, possibly revealing the identity of the Ark. Nikolaz's successor, President Valam Kristavi, has taken residence in the palace. The death of President Kristavi will result in mission failure. Okay, that's what Kristavi looks like. He's a guy in a suit. Uh, occupation, Chief of State. So, relevant history. He secures a position as minister on Nicolades' cabinet, representing the district of Manavelis. Kristavi sells information regarding Nicolades' oil policies to a C CIA agent, Tannehill. Information drops continue irregularly at a frequency of two to ten weeks. After two days of near anarchy in the Georgian government, Kristavi assumes power, promising to hold elections within a month. Seven former ministers from Nicolades' cabinet opposed to Kristavi's rule vanish. Maybe CIA porn is too uh, pejorative, so let's call him the CIA's puppet. We can assume the CIA had a heavy hand in the disappearance of those seven ministers on October 29th. Okay. They planted him in there. 
Wrong way. There you go. Oh, really? Okay. Nope. <laughs> I thought I could make that by doing a wall jump. It did not work. Uh, I don't think that's what I have to do. <laughs> All right, hang on. Welcome back to Georgia, Fisher. Our cleanest path to the Ark is President Christavi's records. Details on your opset. Ah, uh, Christavi gets in my way. Don't touch him. He's copacetic with the CIA. If Christavi dies, the mission's over. For some reason, my brain just went, jump on the wall and you will be able to cover that gap. Like, I genuinely, with all of my being, thought that I could do that. This is great, though. I'm loving the, the wall jump traversal to get up here. This is great. Okay. Yep. There you go. Shimmy on over. I feel like this is a, uh, this is a design flaw. This is like a Death Star situation. The architect of this, uh, this fortress really was just like, and we'll put these railings here. Why will we put these railings here? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Hopefully, no super veteran spy agent by the name of Mr. Splinter Cell needs to infiltrate this presidential palace this way. That would sure be unfortunate. Can I make this by dropping? Oh god, that was stressful. Okay. Okay, now I'm kind of... All right, I guess I'm, I'm able to make this jump. When you don't want to do a wall jump, and he does one. <laughs> I was trying to jump straight ahead, dude. <laughs> I was trying to jump straight ahead, Sam Fisher. Our cleanest path to the Ark is President Christavi's records. Details on your upset. That's right. <laughs> That's, that's why. We're off to a good start. We're off to a, a fucking primo start right now. Welcome back to Georgia, Fisher. Okay. There you go. Without... <laughs> without wall jumping. <laughs> this is <laughs> stressful. We're in. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. I will take that, please. Abdandil, why don't you clean up after your dog? <laughs> Who is that? Get that dumb spotlight out of my eyes, you filthy sniper! <laughs> okay, so I'm already... I'm already made too much noise climbing up here, apparently. How many dogs? Two? Must have been nothing. Okay, so we have dogs just freaking out. <sighs> and one guy per dog and do it in a spotlight. Turning off night vision helps me to see where the kind of spotlight is on the ground a bit more, to be honest.
Just trying to see if there will be a situation where they both of these teams fuck off. Okay. Just picked up a trail. What the fuck? Uh, oh, these dogs are fucking vicious. Okay. As soon as I <laughs> did, as soon as I stood up too. All right, so we've got dogs that are way more vicious. Okay, they're not coming in this way, I don't think. I think we're okay. And the spotlight is only covering that courtyard. Now we got spiky fence. Now can I shoot that off, I wonder? To open the gate. Let's give it a shot. Might make some noise though. I'm going to try again. Audio on possible hostilities. Hmm. Okay. Don't know. Like, maybe we could, like, shoot the... Shoot the lock off. To open the gate, but it didn't work. off while we're here. Oh god. Yeah, these dogs are like straight onto it. What items do we have with us? Sticky camera. Okay. Lock pick. Laser mic. Camera jammer. Object cable. Okay. We got some good shit with us. I don't know why I didn't just check it this way. It's much easier to do it that way. Hmm. This fucking dog, dude. Surely I'll be okay here still, right? This dog won't leave me alone. Fucking dog. Go away. one because it's I hear fighting I'm using that one just because it's a guaranteed that I'll be able to break it unlike the pistol I think I need to go straight ahead pretty sure straight ahead is the move into those bushes the hedges 
There's three dogs now. No, okay. No. Two dogs and a guard. <sighs> man. So there's now three guards in this area. Must have been nothing. Nothing here. I don't know if we have permission to kill as a last resort, but... Oh, is this, like, big enough to do the leg thing? Something there. Damn it. Imagine if you could do the leg splits in this. It was just a bit thinner. This would be the perfect place to be able to do, like, the leg splits thing. We haven't had a single chance in the game yet. Well, I mean, we have. But not, like, a, a moment where I've been like, ooh! Leg splits. This was like a moment where I'm like, can we do it? Why is that dog coming in here? Why? What the hell? There's no way, dude. How is this dog coming all the way in here? Why is it the dog? That's... What the fuck? You gotta be kidding me. It's the hot... Look at... It's all of them. I can't believe it. I can't, I can't believe it. I cannot, I cannot believe it, dude. <laughs> I should have just moved forward. I thought there would have been people through there. I can't believe the dogs tracked me all the way through there. What are they? Hunting animals? Noses that follow scents? That's ridiculous. How dare dogs do that? How dare they follow my scent? That's, that's so unrealistic. I hate that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I should have just, I hesitated when we got into the hedges and I should have just gone, I should have just gone straight ahead. But I thought there was a guard out there who saw us because that was, that was where the light source was. Keep the chit chat off the airway. I'm just really shocked, to be honest with you. I didn't think the dogs would pursue me. The dogs are really keen on that scent. Sam must be fucking farting. Like, I swear to God, he must be he must be letting some rip. He's probably been holding in that suit for a while. It's the only explanation. God awful aim, dude. Can, can we get this with the pistol? First try from further away. Alright, where's that second dog? No idea. Oh! He's picked up a scent. No, he hasn't. Damn it. That spotlight ruined it. I was about to go. Go away, dog. There is no scent here for you. <coughs> Fuck off. So we're going... We're basically going to go straight ahead and then turn right. Once we get to that light source. And hopefully it's fine. He's lost. He said, oh, go away. Okay. Now we wait. Dog. Go away. Please, I beg. Oh, and then the dog comes back over here again when the spotlight comes in. 
picked up a trail. Oh, you, you gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. This dog. This dog is a nightmare. Rinse and repeat. Get the fuck out of here. He's picked up a scent. No, they haven't. It's all in your imagination. Come on, dogs, go away. Stupid dog. Oh, why? What? He's picked up a trail. Oh. Does not even care. Can't not even see the dog. Stupid dog. <laughs> he called it a stupid dog because it's not tracking the scent, but he can't even see that the dog's dead. <laughs> he would not be calling that dog stupid if only he knew. Okay, fuck it. I had to murder an animal. God damn it. Oh, the fucking spotlight. I'm gonna. Press the wrong button. No, oh, I hate myself. <laughs> oh, all of that tension just to make a mistake with the with the spotlight and go. Oh, I have to go back. Guards here. Okay, so here we go. So something there. There's a guy there. I don't I think the trigger Oh, is that an open window? The trigger came in at the same time last time. I think that might be an automatic trigger for a dog to come searching after you. It kind of feels like it. Yep. Wow. Um, that's awful. Okay. Wild. So we stepped into the light a bit so the dog saw us. Oh, that's... Okay. Okay. We're, 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 we're getting there. Okay, so I think this area here is not actually where we want to go. Uh, I was like, is a window open? Is that door open? No. Um, I think we need to navigate the maze, so I need to actually get in there and maybe go to the left instead. As soon as I went across... There's like a specific point where that dreaded piano note comes in and you're just like, oh, and you're being tracked. God, this dog, dude. What we're going to try and do is go over the left-hand side instead. Stupid dog. I'm going to try and go over the left-hand side instead and go into the hedge that way, once this dog actually leaves me alone. Oh, 
Where's that dog at? Growling at me, but it's all the way over there. Weird. Okay. When they make a pass away, I should be able to get in there. There is a guard there to watch out for, though, as well. Oh, and the dog is right there. Come on. He has not. Why must dogs be like this? Switch to the wrong weapon. Oh man, switch to the fucking wrong weapon by accident, and I didn't want to shoot it because it was too loud. <laughs> oh, I pressed a button and it switched to the auto rifle, and I was like, that's gonna make too much noise if I shoot the dog. So when you enter the, when you enter this uh, garden maze, I feel like it's scripted that the dogs will follow your scent through there. I'm absolutely lost on where to go through that maze though, so I'm just, this is trial and error. I'm pushing in there until I figure out the destination. It's picked up a trail. Okay. We're pushing. We're pushing. We are pushing. Holy shit. Oh, dog. Oh, oh, actually, hang on. I think we can go in here. Fucking dog's coming after me. Holy fuck. Oh, God. There's a guy right there. Oh, there's a dog coming after us, though. Um, if only I had something I could fucking... Oh, man. There's a dog coming after me. What if I... I think I heard something. Quickly make some noise. Holy shit, okay. Oh, the dog saw me. Fuck. There's a keypad gate there. Okay, I'm in the right area. There's a keypad gate there. That was close. Okay, what we can do is if we... We make a little bit of footstep noise, and he goes, what was that? He'll go looking. I can slip past him, but I need to do that much faster because there is automatic dogs on my butt sniffing my trail. But then there is a keypad gate, and that's going to be a problem. So I think maybe there might be eventually a point where a guard will open that gate, and maybe I can slip through or use thermal to... <sighs> I can use thermal to see... Uh, what the code is. Sorry, sir. Shit's crazy. I wonder if I can get through here without shooting those lanterns off. And I can just go here and follow this light. The problem is there's dog and guard right there. I wonder if I can do this. Oh, the dog is right there. <sighs> nah. Okay. Damn. Okay, that's not happening. I'm trying to see if I can push my luck.
Okay, there's a dog on my tail, so I don't know what I do. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, there's a guard. Guys, over there. Please use the gate. Please use the gate. I have a dog coming after me. I'm gonna have to just shoot. I'm gonna have to shoot this dog when it's in the dark. Yep, I'm gonna have to shoot this dog when it's in the dark. God fucking damn it, dog. Okay, dog's out. Second dog. Okay. Second dog has to go down too. In the dark. Okay. That dude has a satchel on him. So he might actually have the... Okay, that dude has a satchel on him, so he might actually have the the code to the keypad. I was really hoping that someone would just use it. The dogs are taken care of. I can t shoot out a light, which will confuse him. Once I'm through that gate, though, I have no idea what I'm doing next. So we're just going to do this. Good job. Okay. Just going to put ourselves in the dark. Who's looking? Him? You want to go and check it out? You want to go walk over to the darkness? Ooh, is he going to open the- oh, Is he going to open the gate? Damn it! Fuck. Causing- causing that might have- I was like, maybe you can trick him into opening the gate. Come on, open the gate. Interesting. Maybe it was part of this Nicola business. Maybe it was part of this Nicola business. Oh, crap. We're in the dark. This guy ain't doing shit. Ah. What? Okay, so shooting super close to him was not a good idea. Okay, shooting super close to him is not a good idea. Let's see if this actually has the gate code. Yep. Okay. Garden gate. Lola Chevalier. The garden gate door code is 2126. Commit this number to memory and then destroy this message. This is important. Destroy this message. He de so it is the gate code. 2126. Um, we don't have any healing items. We've wasted so many bullets, we've already been caught. We're basically dead. This guy's right here. I don't know what we have to do once we're out of this gate. Really didn't want to have to kill that guy. Obviously we had to take him out to get the satchel anyway. Take him out to get the satchel, which is really unfortunate. The fact that I didn't die is kind of disappointing, because now I'm rocking around with barely any health, but he's dead. So, there you go. Uh, okay, I guess we're going down this way. He's still close. Uh, what really disappoints me about that is I've been trying... I've been trying so hard, like, genuinely trying so hard to do like these really good stealth segments and I'm just like you get to a point where you're like okay can we trick him to open the gate maybe we have to wait for them to open the gate and it's like a situation where you have to grab him and you have to get a satchel with a with a code and I'm like god damn it I can't just slip past him you need like 
psychic knowledge, preemptive knowledge to get in here without, you know, knocking anyone out. God damn. Okay, now they're going to investigate that body. So, 2126 was the code. I mean, if we fail, we know the garden code now. Um, I guess we're going there, but that's a... Oh, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to jump, I meant to aim. Oh, nice. He didn't even care. That's a barred door. Am I going in here? gate's also locked. What are we... What am I missing? Oh. Is it this? Slide open. Okay. I'm in the cobweb. Oh, that was messy, so we'll save a second checkpoint. We won't save over the original one. Oh, there's my beautifully well-timed med kit. Perfect. It doesn't heal much health, but it'll do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I needed that. Disposable. Ah. Oh. Nice. Disposable pick. All right, we're in, and we have a checkpoint. Breathe a sigh of relief. We have to kill some dogs because they are relentless. I'm really confused as to how you're supposed to do that while a dog is on your trail. It's like, you need to go in, grab that dude, drag him into the shadows, knock him out, pick up the satchel, um, shoot out lights, run to the keypad, with, while there's a guard in front of that gate, then get in here. That's, uh, that's just wild. Oh, nice. <laughs> the game, the game knows. The game knows that I've been in combat, right? God, the lighting is so good in this game. Like, oh! Oh, <laughs> One of the strongest parts of this game, 100%, is like the lighting and the shadows. All right. We also have lasers. Cool. You can't just stick to the shadows. And these are skylights, so... I don't think there's anyone in here. People will probably come in here, I assume. Ooh! Does that go off? Oh, nice. In terms of, like, stealth, right, which is the pure goal of this game, it excels at it so well. Like, there's some 2002 controls and AI and slight jankiness, right? But outside of that, what it seeks to accomplish, oh, from a stealth perspective, is absolutely fucking beautiful. Like, flying colours, to be honest. And there are so many people in here now. What the hell? I fucked up. Are they going to open that door for me? Or am I? Or was I supposed to get through that door before they all fucking flooded the place? God damn it. We haven't even used any gear yet.
I guess this is what we got the disposable pick for, but do you reckon... Oh, okay, if we have it, use it. I was like, potentially I could get away with doing just the normal lock pick, but fuck it. Shit. Is this not where I'm even supposed to go? I just wasted that disposable disposable lockpick. Fuck me. Wasted it completely. I can hide in here, but that's about it. Great. Oh, should have just lockpicked it. Oh, hang on. Is there a free one? Ah, it's like the game new. This game's being psychic today. It's giving me my med kits, giving me my lockpicks back. Oh, I just realized. Yep. This is a problem. So I need to get in the door that they came from, I think. This is so bright. Something's over there. I think I saw something. Yeah, fucked it. Watch it! Valiant effort. Ah. Yeah, it triggers an alarm. There you go. Cool. Ooh, baby. Alright, so I went into the wrong room. Went into. Oh. That is the wrong checkpoint. Okay, so I went into the wrong room. So with that in mind, we have to get to... I believe you have to get to the end of the room to get the guards to come out. Ooh. And then... You just have to get through that door, and it's probably locked, I would assume. Lock it behind them. However, I'm thinking... Oh yeah, they turn on lights in here, because it's darker in here, and then they turn on the lights. Because, yeah, it does get brighter. Ah, they deactivate your security field. Okay. Makes sense. Um, I don't think it's safe for us to be here. Is it these lights? Can I shoot them on when they're already off? Yes. Okay. We can indeed. Okay, we can preemptively shoot off the lights before they're in here. trying to think of yeah spread out and search okay here we go they're coming lights are on Oh, they're looking at the lights. Shit. <sighs> I'm popping a squat, baby. I'm popping a squat in front of this man. Big old squat. Where's the third guy? Damn it, he was looking at me. I didn't even realize until it was too late. Damn. Damn it. That was really unfortunate. Alright, they've set an alarm. Oh, I didn't I don't really want to, but sure. 
I don't really want to. I'll probably reload the checkpoint to be to be honest with you. Because we've set off the alarm, they know where we are. Yeah, now let's let's get let's do this stealth. This I wanna actually hear this dialogue without an alarm blaring in my ears, you know? That's not fair. We can do that. We can do that. As God intended. We're better than that. So I think I just needed to be a little bit more patient, but also I could use a distraction as well, to be honest with you. Like, I haven't been doing distractions. Like, we have not really utilized our equipment. We're just seeing what we can get away with in terms of pure, sexy stealth. Now, if I shoot out that, and maybe stay over this side, there's a guard that'll come over this one. And, but maybe this side might be the one. I'm wondering if the guards are on a timer, not necessarily how far I explore into this room. I would say a diversion camera would be best to try and get the attention of all of them. Like, stick it. Over there and go through. I'm going to do this and then I think they'll investigate. Search for hostiles. Yep. Now, I can't remember the par thing. I don't know what the third guy's going to do. So I might just be able to... Cool. How the hell? Okay, he does that. Oh! 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 Four? Hang on. I swear there's only three. Shit. Four of them. Four of them. Well, I mean, oh shit. I didn't know that was the lights out there. <laughs> I thought there was going to be the light. I thought there was going to be the lights in here. Was that because I did the lights? Did I fuck up with the lights, do you think? I thought it was going to be the lights on the inside. It was a false alarm. Alright, we're just going to wait. We're going to wait until they chill out, I think. Oh, this is dangerous. I should have shot out this chandelier. We'll have to look elsewhere. All right, see ya. Those aren't palace guards. Some kind of special forces. Georgian elite. Probably for we'll have to look elsewhere. Which would suggest Nikolai's is local. Does that affect my game? No. Find those interrogation He's lines. He's moved on. And Christophe's men aren't going to be much friendlier than Nikolai's. You're authorized for lethal force. Or oh, fifth freedom. Fifth freedom, baby. All right, we're authorized for legal force. Ooh, okay, hang on. Now we have this. I wonder if I can use that on those guys. I should just be able to hear it at this point anyway. Lethal force, eh? At least you can see which doors are you can interact with and which doors you can't. How do you reckon we could do this potentially with stealth? 
basically the amount they've got all the lights on, special forces, I'm paper thin. It would have to be a distraction camera. But then there's still the other dude. There's still the other guy up there. I feel like if I stand up, that dude up top will see me to distract these guys. If I try and put this down there to incapacitate those two, these guys might come running and I can sneak past them. I feel like I can't aim over there. I feel like I'll miss. That guy's going to see me as well. If I try and... Hmm. This is the weirdest angle. This one. Where, are you, where is he going? Who goes there? Over here. I need to hurry up because I'm going to get seen because I'm standing up right now. Quick, get over here. Must have been nothing. Are you fucking joking? Come on, get over here. I'm going to get seen because I'm standing up right now. Hello, my friend. They're going up the stairs. Get over here. What is get, dude, they're walking further and further away. They're like, oh, let's not go to the diversion camera. Let's walk up the stairs and walk towards a potential trajectory instead. They're thinking with 500 IQ big brain instead. Those aren't Dallas guards. Some kind of special forces. Georgian elite. Probably Kristavi's men. Which would suggest Nikolai's is local. Does that affect my game? No. Find the American <laughs> So, if we distract, if we distract the guards downstairs, I might be able to do this. Those aren't palace guards. Some kind of special forces. Because they're on alert right now. Probably Kristavi's men, which would suggest Nikolai's is local. Does that affect my game? No. Find those interrogation files. And Kristavi's men aren't going to be much friendlier than Nikolai's. You're authorized for lethal force. Oops. I'm seeing what I'm seeing what I can get away with. Okay. Um I'm not sure how many bullets it took for them to investigate that, but an interesting game plan. There's an interesting game plan here, is I can put the diversion camera. We can try shoot out these lights. Those aren't palace guards. Some kind of special forces. Georgian elite. Probably men. Which would suggest Nikolai is local. Does that affect my game? No. Find those interrogation files. And Kristavi's men aren't going to be much friendlier than Nikolai's. You're authorized for lethal force. Wait, they didn't care that whole time. Something there. They didn't care about me shooting out the whole chandelier for some reason. Strange. Only you? Only you, huh? I thought more people would take the bait. Thought more people would take the bait. Because now this guy's gonna spot this dude.
man down. He looked unconscious. He's moved on. Expand this search. He's moved on. Your subject was one of Nikolaj's colonels to this one. Oh. Oops. Damn. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> they started talking as well. I should have used the pistol for that one instead of the assault rifle. I didn't also want to shoot that dude in the head, so... Those aren't palace guns. Some kind of special... I'm just running out of pistol Georgia bullets. Probably Chris Dabby's man, which would suggest Nikolaj's is local. Does that affect my game? No. Find those interrogation files. And Chris Dabby's men aren't going to be much friendlier than Nikolaj's. You're authorized to be the force. Oh, you idiot. We'll have to look elsewhere. Maybe it was part of I can get my diversion camera back. He's moved on. I help too. They had a different interrogator, a different team for each subject. Your subject was one of Nikolaj's colonels too. Yes, they told me. They ask him about something called the Ark. The Ark I couldn't make sense of it. Ristavi doesn't want anybody to know everything about it, except himself. He obsesses over it. Sits up there on the fourth floor, just watching the files over and over. Fourth again. floor, Jesus. watching the files. I would never want to see those things again. The things we did for that information. Who goes there? Maybe it was nothing. Fuck, that's a keypad door, I just realized. This dude has a satchel on him, so I need to knock him out and get his satchel. He should have the code. I forgot that these dudes are in sync, these two.
70021. Rez, once we get the go code, we're going to need to move fast if we want to get the jump on Nicolazza's men. I'm counting on you to cover my back when this thing goes down. Shortcut through the corridor. The door leading to it is locked by the code 70021. I'm pumped. Tonight's going to be a good fight. So fourth floor is the one that we want to be on. Which floor are we on? Cameras too. Oh no, a uh, a mine. Okay. Oh, I thought I was being so clever. I thought I was being super clever right there. Ow! <laughs> I thought I was being so clever, dude. I was like, and they're just gonna walk straight through me and I'm gonna be in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's the thought that counts. There's a well-intentioned position there. God damn. Okay, instead I'll follow them. He didn't see me. Lucky. Opening door as a stealth option is pointless. Genuinely. supposed to be going this way. I was just going to hide around the corner and then go back out through the corridor. I'm supposed to go. I love it when the checkpoint just like tells me what's going on. The checkpoint's like, don't worry about it, dude. It's like, you meant to go this way. Oh, what? First time we've had to do a movement like that. Sir, is that you? Nicolaz and his men are almost at the library. We are continuing to hold back until he's actually inside. Sir? President Kristavi? Oh, he's not in here. Kristavi's not here. <gasps> oh! Something's over there. How was I supposed to know you were going to do that, mate? I'm behind it. No, I'm a pot plant. I am but a simple pot plant.
the way that he goes down like spinning. The way that he goes down spin shooting, all dramatic like. I can't believe he turned on the lights. He's got a satchel. Alright, it was just one guy. No one came after him. Uh, Mr. Channel, I can't believe we got seen. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Stinky. Here is the fifth intelligence report from President, Christ uh, President Christafi's office. I hope the updated encryption protocols live up to your standards and the intelligence itself meets your expectations. Some notes. Nicolades will be on Georgian soil, possibly within Tbilisi between November 17th and 18th. Nicolades is funding his escape with heroin money earned through certain corrupt precincts of the Tbilisi police force, especially numbers 4 and 12. No intelligence available in this arc you speak of. Christafi feels, and I agree, that the arc is a rumor. Please know that we appreciate our relationship with the agency and are eager to help in any way possible. Interesting. Alright, I want to test out the my fish tank theory again. So, it, look at the current level of the water. Now, we didn't get to try this out last time. I think you can shoot it once, and then the next time you shoot it, it breaks. Oh my god, it actually leaks out as well. Holy shit. It's just one fishy. He doesn't need that much water. There you go. He needs an ocean. We need to free him. But this is the best we can do. Now his world is smaller, so he's not suffering existential crisis. By the world being too big for his for small fish. Okay? <laughs> That's so cool! Hey, you shoot it and it water actually goes down to the level. Now, um... It, we got a brief look at that in a previous mission, but I didn't do it properly, so that was really cool. Lights off, please. Use computer. I hate this kind of thing. What do you have? Interrogation, torture, and... Oh, Christ! What? The Ark oh, is a satellite. A what? A special atomic demolition munition. You mean a nuclear suitcase bomb? Yeah. I'll get back to you. Nuclear suitcase bomb. Okay. Description. Christavi's men interrogated one of Nicolades' colonels for information on the Ark. The eight-hour ordeal was videotaped and transcribed. I've pulled the most relevant bits from the resulting document. Hour five. We can't stop until you tell us. Ah! Blind! Just tell us what it is. What's the Ark? It won't hurt anything to talk. They're just words. Oh, God. Jesus, Mary. Listen, we only want... It's a Saddam. A Saddam? Special Atomic Demolitions Munitions. Good. That's very good. Hour seven, two hours later. Where? There's a vault. Ah! In the library. Just make it stop. Hour eight. I swear, it's not. Convince us. What can I do? Ah! Security only makes sense. It's locked. Retinal scanner. I can't. But no booby traps. I can see my... God. I think we've lost him. Wow. He died. Retinal scanner. President Christavi, of course you know best, and I will never question your orders, but I feel it's my duty to offer my advice. Making a play for the Ark is a huge risk, especially considering our relationship with the CIA. We will never know how closely they are watching us or what they know already. Tannehill asked a less than subtle question about the Ark. I wouldn't bet that they know what it is, but I'm sure it has their interest. It makes me nervous. I, I know what you would say. It's your job to be nervous, but please do not underestimate our enemies. As an initial security precaution, I'm having some of the door codes changed. If you want to get into your library, the door code is now 66768. I'm also enforcing our normal palace guards with members of your elite. In your mail, you wrote rather cryptically about giving Nicolades more than his bargain. What did you mean? 66768. That's to get into the library. The Ark is the mission, Fisher. Get it. It's in a safe inside a vault in the library. Locked by scanner to Nicolades' retina. So I'm going to need Nicolades alive to get the Ark. That's right. Oh, I, we have to grab Nicolades himself. That complicates things. Alright, there's a guard on the other side of the room. Am I supposed to be in here? I think this is just to get a med kit. This 
This is the library. Is this not the library? There's a bunch of books on shelves. I guess we go. I am. We're heading back out now. So this was just the right way, but temporarily. And now I need. Now we need to go back this way again. Now we'll try go left. I assume. I didn't expect him to come in here. I didn't expect him to come in this in in here. God damn it! Yeah, I might just fuck this one up. Watch it! Watch it! Oh god! Hello, everyone and their mother. I thought I'd be able to just hide around the corner, but he followed me unexpectedly, actually. We did it at the same time. <laughs> Turned on the light as I knocked him out. Okay. Oh, maybe I can just... Nope. Can't go out the door. I hate this kind of thing. What do you have? Interrogation, torture, and... Oh, Christ! What? The Ark is a saddle. A what? A special atomic demolition munition. You mean a nuclear suitcase bomb? Yeah. I'll get back to you. The Ark is the mission, Fisher. Get it. It's in a safe inside a vault in the library. Locked by scanner to Nikolod's oh. retina. So I'm going to need Nikolod's alive to get the Ark. That's right. Okay, so we're not in a library. We're just in a place with a lot of books that's not a library, but just has a lot of books. So we actually need to get in. So there's the retinal safe in the library itself that we need Nikolod's to open. Oh my god! Okay, to the library. To the library. So back the way that we came. I don't know what to do from here. I don't know how close they are. I'm trying to listen for footsteps. So that camera is on a 360 rotation. I feel like they're... yeah, there you go. Right there. Okay. What's that guy doing? Walking into a wall. Okay, he's busted. Oh, he's walking into a guy. Yeah, fucking, he's broken. They're busted. There you go. Perfect. What? All the way down there? That dude's got fucking eyes. What? No way. There was 
something there. That dude's got some fucking eyeballs on him. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I'm in here now. Another 360 cam. That was close. Holy shit. I'm liking these cool artifacts that we're seeing in all the glass cabinets. It's awesome. Loading screen. Checkpoint. Yeah, baby. I'll take it. Alright, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, shit. Hello. Eerie. What the fuck? Oh man, the atmosphere is crazy right now. We've reached the library. Nicolaj is inside. Everybody at alert. We are retrieving the ark. Be ready to get out of here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, we have the... Uh, the code 66768. I hear footsteps, but it's currently clear. Okay, so this is the library. Oh, bruh. Yeah, there is. It's me. Come on, walk over here. Walk over here. I'm then I've been seen. Hmm. I wonder how the diversion camera works with attracting AI. Can it only attract one person at a time? It can't attract multiple people, and the second person that will will go and investigate where you came from or something instead, which is really bizarre. Reach the library. Nicolaj is inside. Everybody at alert. We are retrieving the ark. Be ready to get out of here. I forget that he stood right there. Okay. So I need Nicolards. If I if we were authorized to be lethal, I could be taking these all, all guys out, but I, I wonder where Nicolards actually is, that's the question. What's that? Oh, that's the Maybe it was nothing. Maybe it was nothing. All three of them, eh? There was something there. That door is blocked. Oh, it's an elevator. Fuck me. Fuck me. Okay. This dude does turn around, though. He does turn around. Oh, these guys are on a fucking shitty loop. Okay.
someone there. Man down! He looks unconscious! I wasn't meant to pick up the body first, but because I did, I just rolled with it. Thing you don't have to call the elevator and it's already here. Should I? We have an intruder! Some kind of American commando! Get Nikolaj into the vault, keep his head down until we take care of it! I didn't think I don't think it made it very dark in here, okay. Still got another checkpoint though. Oh okay, I'm assuming this is the part where combat's gonna happen, or is this just cool music? Oh, nope, it's combat. Come on. We were doing so well and the game forces combat at you. <laughs> Doo -doo. And I'm dead. We are so paper thin. I, don't, I actually genuinely uh, wish that there were no forced combat segments. Because the stealth is so satisfying that whenever it goes, Okay, let loose a little. Shoot your gun. I'm like, oh. I don't, I don't enjoy it as much at all. <laughs> what was that throw, dude? It was a distraction. It was all part of the plan. I'm so paper thin. Give yourself up! Show yourself! Oh, I'm being attacked on both sides. I also have to work on conserving ammunition because picking up ammo in this game is really rare. Like, it's hard to find ammo in these levels as well. So I always try and keep it on semi-auto for that reason. not good at the combat segments because combat is not good in this game <laughs> the stealth so good it's like 98 percent perfect right close enough to being perfect combat leaves a lot to be desired What was on that data stick? God damn it. Why are the, why do the elites have data sticks? 
Why should they be dropping info right now? When they should just be dropping blood. One on the staircase, too. Oh, that was it? Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, um, baby, I'm an expert at this game, and combat is easy. And that was just no sweat. <laughs> Dirty deal. Georgie, you should be touching down soon in the homeland, under the invitation of President Kristavi. Ever since his election, if you want to call it that, I've been extremely suspicious of Kristavi. He doesn't seem to, uh, to me like much more than an American stooge. I don't trust him. I would advise that you and the others arm yourself as well as possible, and never let down your guard. I wish I was there, but I trust you and your men to do the job. Okay. Nice. Medical kit picked up. There's other footsteps in here, is it Nicolard's? It'd have to be, right? Because we're in the library and I need him for the retinal scanner. Alright, I think he's through this door. Then... Nope. Why does it sound like a ghost? <laughs> oh! Hang on. It sounds like a ghost. The footsteps are so close. Aha. Uh -huh. Ding the tree! They turned on us! Kristavi's men have opened fire! We need back! Okay. We're in the vault. So Nicolaj is going to be in here. Oh, is that him? That's him. Holy fuck. Next to a computer. That's him in the flesh. Okay. What? Who's out here being suspicious of me? There's the retinal scanner, so it's like right next to it. He will be none the wiser. Did you kill him? Oh my god! Who are you? What are you doing? Oh, he just knows what it's you me. Want from me. You are American? <laughs> okay, so that's what that was. He just knows that it's me automatically. Tell me about the art. Let me walk away. I can make you rich. I know what it is. I don't know where it came from. This gets you nowhere. Can I get him to use the computer? Because I want to. I wanted to use the computer as well. All right. What are you going to do with it? With what? The ark. Where are you going to detonate it? Kill me, or let me go. What you're doing now is hopeless. Tell me about the ark. This is futile. I'll say no more. Nobody move! Hands in the air! Nobody move! Nobody oh. move! Come by Nicola. And who is your friend? An American? Yes, him. You will give us the ark. I am not God. You will give us the ark. I honestly don't know what you are speaking of. Christavi knows it is a nuclear suitcase, Bob. It's you empty. You have it. Clever man. Does he know that it is already in America? What? The Ark is not here. Keep talking. The only thing in this vault is the activation key. The bomb itself is in America. If Christophe guarantees my freedom, I'll tell him where to find the Ark. Give us the activation key. This spy has the key. This American. You'll have to take it from him. I can give you the location, but only on the condition of my safety and freedom. Agreed. You two, escort Mr. Nicolaj out of the library. Oh, oh my god, Jesus, get the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god. 
I was see. I was <laughs> oh, scared the absolute fucking shit out of me. Uh, for some reason, I was not expecting to get shot because I could move a little bit and I wasn't being shot yet. So I was kind of being chill like that. Oh, fucking hell. That is just... That is just outrageous. Outrageous. Oh, man. Now we got to do this again. Not that it's difficult at all. Not that it's a, a problem at all. <laughs> Being betrayed! They turned on us! Kristavi's men have opened fire! We need back! Okay, so I want to see what's on the... I want to see what's on the... Computer. Did you kill him? Oh my god! Who are you? Yeah, he doesn't know who we are. What are you doing? What are you... Oh, he just hides there. Okay. <laughs> he just fucking stands there. Alright, let's see the data stick. Final squirt transmission from Firong. President Nicolards, I'm having this hand delivered. A slightly odd method for an email, but I believe it offers the safest combination of encryption and human security. This is our best translation of the final communication from Firong. I did the best I could, but there are strings of words beyond my abilities, as followed. Nicolards, you aren't translatable. You won't have a Chinese flunky to do your work for you anymore, you arrogant wish you were European. Questionable translation. I'm already on my way. Sleep is coming. We misunderstood a America's strength. I thought their obesity, their laziness would make them an easy target. But being fat and lazy is their strength. My people, untranslatable. It's the inertia. They are easy to attack, hard to wound. My suicide should guarantee me a place in hell. Untranslatable. We'll be waiting for you, Nicolards. Talk to you soon. General Kong Fai Rong. That's the best I can manage for the time. My deepest condolences for the loss of Grinko. He was. And then it ends. Um, so that was him being drunk and slurring a hand-delivered email. Okay, so we're about to get... We just have to stand still. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> just... <laughs> just stand still. Hands in the air and let it play out. Tell Let me walk away. I know it. Damn, so it being empty is crazy. Nobody move! Nobody move! Come by Nikolai's. And who is your friend? An American? Yes, you. You will give us the ark. I am not God. You will give us the ark. I honestly don't know what you are speaking of. Kristavi knows it is a nuclear suitcase, Bob. And he knows you have it. Clever man. Does he know that it is already in America? What? The Ark is not here. Keep Smart. talking. The only thing in this vault is the activation key. The bomb itself is in America. If Christophe guarantees my freedom, I'll tell you where... Do you reckon you could be, you reckon you could be skilled enough to dodge out of the way and then kill all these guys? It's American. You'll have to take it from you. Okay. I can give you the location, but only on the condition of my safety and freedom. Agreed. You two, escort Mr. Nicolaj out of the library. You, who are you? Oh, save checkpoint, okay. Don't talk, Fisher. We're arranging for a blackout in five seconds. Oh. Make the most of it. Holy Give fuck. Give us the key to the yard. You can hand it to me, or I can take it from your corpse. You have five seconds to decide. Five seconds? Four seconds. Three, two... Oh, oh my god! Oh! They're activating their fucking... Oh shit. Damn it, I thought we were gonna be, I thought we were gonna be able to sneak out. Uh, there, you just hear them activate their night vision. Okay, we actually do have to take these fucking guys on. This is really stressful. Okay. Don't talk, Fisher. We're arranging for a blackout in five seconds. Make the most of it. Mm. Give us the key to the Ark. You can hand it to me, or I can take it from your corpse. You have five seconds to decide. Four seconds. Three... 
Oh. Oh, man. I'm almost out of bullets, though. I love this music. All right, got another data stick, so we'll just quickly take a peek at that. Green light. I just got the final go for tonight's operation. We are allow to allow Nicolades and his men complete access to all areas of the palace until we receive the radio signal. At that moment, all of Nicolades' guards should be disarmed. Those who refuse should be killed. If possible, we should take Nicolades alive. Okay. Someone else in here. Somewhere. It didn't work? Oh, it did work. Okay. Nice. We got the zap on the final one. I'm almost dead. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of it. Holy shit. Fisher, we can't let Nicolaj walk away. You think he really knows where the Ark is? Yes. We can't let him live with that information. An intruder, an American, a spy is loose in the building. All troops to fall along. Boy, I'm almost dead. How do we get this dude? Oh, okay. This door is open. Fucking save over a new slot, because I might have to go back. A save. With this much health. I'm out of bullets for my shit, dude. Oh, man. The American is carrying intelligence vital to the safety of our nation. His capture or death is our highest imperative. This checkpoint is going to be tricky. I might have to reload a previous save and have to do that combat encounter better, but there's there's not there's not enough ammo. <laughs> there's, there's not enough ammo. Um, like, if you're going to do a situation like this, there should be like down here and hopefully there is and maybe I'm blind but like if you're gonna do back-to-back -back forced combat encounters and then uh, the rest of what we're dealing with there should be bullets down here and there should be first aid kits down here to at least stock you up but it, it's looking pretty dire it's looking pretty empty This is pretty empty to me. Which is very unfortunate. Uh, we're just being very... The American is carrying intelligence vital to the safety of our nation. We're just being very we cheeky now, because we're basically dead, imperative. whatever we do. So we're just rushing forward. <laughs> uh, okay. We're just rushing forward. Another checkpoint. Uh, I really need to be careful about what I save over at this point, because I feel like I'm really treading carefully on 
what I need to be doing. Oh, there's bullets! <gasps> Fuck, thank God. There's bullets on that windowsill. Let me be as clear as possible. Snipe Nicolads from there. Oh, Do it now. Don't where is miss. he? You probably won't get a second chance oh, at this. This window? Okay. <gasps> thank God we have fucking... Thank you for putting ammo there. Oh, <laughs> to reload. Got him. Sharp work, Fish. Okay. It's time to get scarce. That data you're carrying is the last of it. The last of what? Nicolads' threat against the U.S. Our highest priority right now is keeping what you're carrying out of enemy hands. The Osprey is waiting. Okay. Oh, God. The nightmare. It's finally over. Oh, my God. Thank fuck that they put bullets on that windowsill. Because we were on zero. We had nothing left, dude. We like one bullet away from death. We had no ammo left. These combat encounters are crazy. Uh, and he's been sniped in the head, baby. He's out of here. Um, am I going through this door? Yeah, okay. God damn. And the clock strikes midnight and we shoot him in the head. Um, I love it. Okay. Um, I'm going to save over this one. I'm going to keep that backup one. The one just before the shootout. Just in case. Get the president to a secure location. Oh, he's fine. Just leave me alone. Assassin in the palace. I need all men... Possible multiple shooters. Possible multiple shooters? I'm that good. Direct order That's... from President Kristavi. Find the assassin. Oh god. Don't let the shooter leave the palace. Lethal force. The assassin is top priority. Where's Nikolaj? Who's coming, Nikolaj? Unconfirmed report that Nikolaj has been shot. Nikolaj is dead. Repeat, Nikolaj is down. Find the assassin! The kitchen and dining hall are clear. The assassin vanished. Ooh, medical kit. The full sweep for the American spy. He must be captured or killed at any cost. Dude, this mission is fucking amazing. <laughs> ah! God! <laughs> <gasps> These fucking jump scares. Ooh, I the time when I could have used an optic cable, dude. Genuinely. Get the perfect the time for me movie. to have used an optic cable, and I was just, in the thrill of the moment, was just like, get me the fuck out of here. Oh, that's where they come from. The I need all men. Oh, shit, man. Dude, <laughs> Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh man, the way that this episode is completely and utterly, perfectly falling apart. Okay, we're good. Oh, I was meant to... Okay. I accidentally I pressed the right trigger and exited out of the... the camera. Whoop. There's a plan there. Oh, actually, you know what? There's an even better plan. 
If I just... Nothing in the pallet. I need all the oh, that did not work. That went right through them. It almost worked. You can just gas the door. You can just gas the door instead. Right? Nothing in the pallet. I need all men. I'm such a bad sniper, huh? I was like, <laughs> just off. That was so unfortunate. That was almost a clean shot. Almost had that. Imagine if I was good at shooting. That would have been perfect. There you go. Second try. It was intentional. Was supposed to fail. American spy. He must be captured or killed at any cost. <laughs> we'll find you. You're surrounded. We'll Give find up. you. What? You're surrounded. The fuck? Give we'll find you. You're surrounded. Give uh. up. So what's the alternative here? What are we doing? Um how are we doing this? Will they just come in automatically on their own? I doubt it. This guy drops a medical kit, right? Can I get up there? Wondering if to avoid getting, you know, shot, we could get up there, but yeah, I think we can. Cool. That's how we avoid getting shot. Thank God someone put this wardrobe here. What would we do without this wardrobe? Okay. Not out of it yet, though. Where's extraction? Am I going through the front doors? What? Do we go out? Hmm. Do you reckon I can... Imagine if we just fucking walk out. Get out of the way! Oh, fuck. We have to go through the door. Watch it!
That oh. <laughs> uh, it worked out what I wanted to do. I wanted to gas a group of them because they all ran down there. I was supposed to get um, them down there, but they ran up. So that actually worked out how I wanted it to in a weird way. <laughs> in a weird way. <laughs> oh, wow. We did it. We know that we did it because it's playing a 480p cutscene. Look at us just run through everything. Just jump onto the chopper. Get out of there. Mission complete, but in the form of a cutscene. How cool. Holy crap, that was insane. Wow. <laughs> Georgian Presidential Palace. Intelligence gained from the Georgian Presidential Palace identified the Ark as a special atomic munitions device. The fact that it was already in place a short distance from Washington, D.C. made Nikolads a clear threat to the safety of the American people. In accordance with the Fifth Freedom, that threat was neutralized. So we took him out. We sniped him, very luckily. That mission was so much fun. This game is incredible. It's a masterpiece, right off the bat. It has some jank in it, but like it's a janky masterpiece. This is the first game in the series. I'm so excited to continue. Like, wow. I'm I'm blown away by, by this game on a gameplay level. And like the story is like, it's a very realistic, grounded, military-based story. Like uh, the story of a, like a Metal Gear Solid is gonna appeal to me way more because it's like, there's so much happening. But I do enjoy the story of this and the, the the hooks and how like the twists and turns and the espionage of it all. It's it's so cool. So I actually do am enjoying the story. But from a gameplay perspective, it's so enjoyable. So enjoyable. Eight story apartment building and surrounding four we blocks in Hopegate, Maryland, were evacuated today by the National Guard. Authorities cited a gas leak as the reason for the evacuation stressing that today's events had no relation whatsoever to Combain Nicolats or the Georgian information crisis. Hopegate, less than half an hour from downtown Washington, D.C., will... Since the recovery and confirmed identity of President Combain Nicolats's corpse five days ago, palace guards fatally shot President Nicolats in the midst of what appears to have been an attempted ousting of acting President Varlam Kristavi. In a press conference this morning, U.S. President Bowers lauded the American people for their courage. We were injured. There was a typo there. Said he died in 2003 in the corner there, but it's set in 2004. <laughs> we just reunited with our daughter in the living room. <laughs> Love it. The world knows no problem that American ingenuity cannot solve. And so I extend my deepest admiration to every U.S. citizen of the world. I like that he has a daughter. It like adds like this very cool element to him. And tyrannies of wicked men. History will not forget your resolve. Because <laughs> it reminds History you what he's fighting will for. Will not forget your resolve. Dad, what's going on? You haven't laughed since the Reagan administration. <laughs> it's nothing. Forget about it. <laughs> we have kept the bright flame the of American line, freedom burning me. throughout oh. the world. May God clear our vision and strengthen our minds for the work to come. And may God bless America. You're not leaving again, are you, Dad? I just got back with my daughter, and you already you want me back in the field? Hello, Lambert. Time for another job. Is that the stinger at the end? Hello, Lambert. Time for another job. You're leaving me again, Dad? And the credits roll! So wild, dude. This game was awesome. And it's not over. We have three DLC levels to play. So this is the ending of the main game. This will be our ending episode. However, there is the Zelka Submarine Infiltration and Cola Cell DLC missions. They've been in the level select since the very beginning. Um, and I, I found out that they are, there was like an additional Xbox pack. It just comes with the backwards compatible version of the game. So we've got three more levels to play. So it's not over yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Uh, I cannot wait to continue playing the Splinter Cell series. Uh, like I said, three DLC missions left, and then the next game in the series is Pandora Tomorrow. Uh, so we'll be playing that one real soon as well, because, my god, this has been an absolute ride. I loved this game. <laughs> it was it was so much fun. Uh, it, was, it was great. 
I, I genuinely had a good time. Like I said, gameplay, so good. Stealth, very satisfying. Story is awesome. The music's cool. Uh, like, just so much about it. I love the gadgets you can use. There's, there's so much to love uh, about this first entry into the Splinter Cell series. And uh, while, you know, it's not over yet, we've got, we've got more to play. Uh, I am definitely keen to check out the the sequel already to, uh, you know, Xbox's foray into the stealth genre. We're going to let these credits roll, see if anything's after the credits as we get to the end, and then we'll, uh, we'll close it out. Okay, so the game just takes us right back. The game takes us right back to the main menu, um, where... We got extra features, behind the scenes, random facts. It has been suggested that the Echelon relay system may intercept as many as 3 billion communications every day, including phone calls, emails, internet downloads, and satellite transmissions. Cool. It just gives you facts. Third Echelon is granted the power to invoke the Fifth Freedom, allowing them to bypass international treaties and employ any means necessary to uphold national security. It is denied to exist by the US government. If you hit a snake and don't kill it, you'll be sorry later on. Snake! <laughs> snake! Behind the scenes, production notes, profile of Sam Fisher, character animation. Ah, oh, this is quite cool. Production notes. Oh, it plays you a full video. Okay, hold on. Profile Sam Fisher. Ah, oh, this is cool. We have kept the bright flame That's the of secure American line, freedom honey. It literally spoils the ending. <laughs> Not really, but kind of. Hello, Lambert. Creating Sam Fisher. I'm gonna watch these in my own time for sure. I think I'm gonna watch these because this, this uh, building levels using light and shadow. This really interests me. I'm probably gonna chill out and and watch these and admire how this game was put together. I think so. That's really cool. That's even in there. More games need to just have that in the extra features. But if we go in here and we check our levels, uh, we have. Uh, the three levels here. We've got the uh, Zvelka Infiltration, Zvelka Submarine, and Cola Cell, which we will be doing uh, in a few more episodes of the Splinter Cell playthrough. So there is more to look forward to. Thank you so much for joining me for my first foray into the Splinter Cell series. If you have enjoyed this playthrough and you're keen to see more, please do consider subscribing and sticking around. I would love to have you in the community, and it helps greatly for me to continue doing this and I want to keep doing it for you guys because it's so much fun uh, so again happy to have you very grateful very appreciative for your support and I can't wait to continue playing Splinter Cell thank you so much for watching this episode and I will see you in the first DLC mission next time